Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with a homemade French fries. Do not try this at home unless you have a giant Dutch oven full of oil left over from a donut video. So I had some oil left over from my punchki video, and I decided to show you how those really crispy restaurant fries are made. Again, I don't expect you to do this. This is like an FYI. So what we're going to do, I mean, what I'm going to do, you really shouldn't do this, is I'm going to hand cut some russet potatoes into some french fry-like geometric shapes. So I'm going to cut this in like three thick slices, actually four, and then just cut it in your traditional french fry shape. If you're going to hand cut fries, which I do not suggest you do, you got to make sure they're fairly evenly sized. Otherwise, when they fry, uh, they won't fry evenly. All right, also the potato. Russet works. The best potato is called a Kennebec. It's a special potato. I believe it's from Maine. It has the perfect kind of ratio of starch to water to make french fries. We're going to rinse those off really well in cold water. Soak them for about a half hour. You can change the water a couple times. All right, we're going to dry those off really well. All right, I'm no exploding oil expert, but you'd never want to put wet food into hot oil. All right, the secret to crispy restaurant-style fries is the blanching. They're cooked twice. So the first cooking is at a lower temperature. I'm going to use 275, and we're just going to cook those for about five minutes. They're not going to be cooked crispy by any means. It's just going to kind of cook the starch in the potato a little bit, and they're going to be, once chilled, prepared and set up for crispy fries. So that's the first stage to crispy restaurant fries is the oil blanching at a lower temperature. You're going to let those cool completely. I just put mine in an open window. I don't want to put them into the fridge all hot, but you can definitely refrigerate these before you fry them. Then you crank up the oil to 350, and then they get fried for real. So this is the second frying. This is what gives them the crisp coating. That first frying just kind of prepared the french fry. They're sort of cooked. All right, they were just partially cooked. The second frying is what really crisps them up. Crisps is a hard word to say. I just pulled a cheek muscle. So what you're going to do is you're going to fry these for, I don't know, this took me about five or six minutes. You can actually feel with your spider, which is that little deep fry strainer there, you can actually feel with the spider the crispiness. All right, the bubbles get a little smaller, meaning there's less moisture coming out of the fry. And you know what? You can tell they get golden brown and, you know, crispy. So once those have developed the desired level of exterior crispiness, you're going to fish them out. I like to blot them on a paper towel just real briefly. And of course, make sure you touch them when they first come out of the oil because they're really hot and you'll burn your fingertips. So that, you know, always feels good. Dust them with some salt. Now what I like to serve these with is ketchup. And I've been serving ketchup with fries for since I can remember. I really, it's one of my signature uh, pairings. And you can hear that crispiness. So that's how you achieve the ideal french fry, in my opinion. The really light fluffy on the inside with that really thin, crispy exterior. Really nice. All right, check out the site. All the info's there and all the ingredients. Let's see, there was, well, actually, it's potato. So check it out. And as always, enjoy. <laughs>